Hey guys, welcome to another episode of War Divisions. It is day three of the class matches. I made one little change and that was what I said I was going to do before. I was going to get rid of uh, Catone's Trustmaster on Frerica and give her Vilish Trustmaster instead because it will still provide um, the hide that I want her to have. But now she's going to get, I'm exchanging uh, move move and jump plus one for some additional AP. So now let's see how it goes. And I also added trust stones on it, but um, some are pink, some are green, and it's just basic stuff, no stats. I didn't feel like re-rolling at this time. I'm going to re-roll them eventually, so they're still at base. At least it gives me the opportunity to smack them later and keep uh re-rolling because it's just so much fun to keep re-rolling to get the stuff you want <laughs> oh man trust stones are time consuming uh i'm glad they're in uh i use them mainly for the set bonuses but if i want to get all the small little stats it's just fun to re-roll all right we got a light team going Jaden, fina and engelbert uh so if I could take down Jaden, it's smooth sailing from here. Uh, <laughs> uh, hmm. Engelbert is going to be an issue though because as soon as he gets his hate off, everyone's going to go to him. So I'm going to have to rely on AoE moves to hopefully take down. Uh, Fina's not doing anything, so that means she doesn't have a trust master to buff up her, her team. Or her trust master must be uh, Knight's Blessing. The um, who is it? It's a uh, Masharis trust master. It might be that. Um, who knows? All right. So Jaden here is busy powering up everyone, while my units are moving in slowly. Violet got her bells up, which is great. Fina's probably gonna go in for attack here. Uh, no, she just keeps moving. This is interesting. She's like doing nothing. <laughs> Which is not bad, but it's not good either. I'd rather her do something. Um, alright, so now Mott and Engelbert are in front of each other. Uh, oh, interesting. I didn't do, uh, Vilas Trustmaster there. Alright, Jaden has accuracy on his kit because he was able to blast, uh, Violet almost one-shotting her. And now Fina's going to go in and uh, do her sparkle shower hitting Mont. Alright, Violet's going to come in. And she's going to obliterate Fina. I don't think Fina's going to survive this. There's no way she can survive this. And she survived this. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, that Fina is kind of bulky. But let's see. Uh, well, then again. Uh, Engelbert has hate on. So I figured this is going to happen. But at least he's blind. So that's a good thing. But... I need them to kill Jaden. Jaden's gonna be busy killing off my units. Oh, he missed Farika, which is great. And Mont survived. I don't think Mont had courage up. Or maybe that wasn't paying attention. He might have just survived without without having courage to proc. Alright, Engelberg's gonna start missing now. Let's see what um Bai is gonna do. Go after Engelberg, which I figure. Now Engelberg's paralyzed and blind. <laughs> But I need them to go after Jaden. At the very least, Jaden didn't pa uh, do um, a Bell's buff, like a rest uh, AP restoration. So we still have a chance. But they need to go after Jaden and start going after Engelbert. But it's going to be tough because Engelbert has all that hate, hate up right now. Okay, so now what, what Jaden's going to do? He's been missing some shots. Will we miss another one? No. Okay, he, he snipes Violet. So now it's all out to Farika. Alright, Farika procs the courage onto Engelbert. Engelbert's paralyzed, so he can't do anything. So what Jaden's going to do now? He has some AP still left. Okay. Uh, that didn't do much damage, so that was, that's good. And now Engelbert goes down, so now it's just Farika and uh, Jaden. What Jaden's going to do here? Another other shot. Okay, Farika is down to her last HP. What would she do? Uh, she <laughs> she does a buff. 
That's not helpful at all. All right, Jaden's gonna do attack, and now down goes Furry Cup. Oh well, <laughs> she didn't pop the. Wasn't I up for a promotion? Actually, now that I think about it, I guess because I go into the next day, I can get my promotion. That's weird. I'm pretty sure I went into this going to promotion. Does the promotions not carry over to the next day for class matches? If someone would let me know in the comments, that'd be great. Because I thought I was up for a promotion. I'm pretty sure I was. Um, but okay. Farika didn't do her do the buff. At least I don't think she did. Let me make sure I have it on. I do have it on. So does that mean she prioritized something else over this? Uh, let's see. She has ready to gauge, which is her AOE, AOE buff. That's fine. And the um, defensive footwork, which I kind of want anyway, because that's uh, evasion. And res res resistance, resilient stance. There you go. <laughs> I have turned off. Of course, that probably will help in some matchups, but I have it turned off because I, uh, she's not gonna have time to do all her um, self buffs before she engages. I definitely turned off offensive uh, footwork because I don't need her doing that. So I think she prioritizes her other thing first over. I think she prioritizes this over. Uh, Violet's trust master. Hmm. I'm gonna have to think about that, but for now, we're just gonna leave it and see how it goes. If she's not using it by the end of today, then tomorrow I'll go back to her using um, the uh, Katone's trust master instead because she was definitely using that. It might be because that gives more buffs than this I don't know I wonder the prior uh, what they prioritize is based on how many buffs the buff gives because Katone's buff is three buffs in one I'll uh, hate down move up jump up so that's three defensive footwork is two buffs uh, evasion up and uh, unit resistance up while Violet's trust master is just one buff which is the height so I wonder if that's how the prioritization goes. If so, because next this next turn here, I'm f I'm so focused on her turn or turn order, and not focused on who I'm facing. I'm facing a lightning team, so I should have a ch chance. But who knows? It's a cloud. But anyway, back to <laughs> um back to the AI prioritization. I think if she does defensive work here. It might be because it's two buffs instead of one, and the prior the way they prioritize is based on how many buffs. No, okay, she did that. Maybe she did it last game, and I just was not paying attention. Um, it's either that or it's it's not as big of a buff that I want it to be. I don't know. Anyway, let's focus on the match. So we got a a mod here who's eating up uh, Violet's limit break. Uh, which kind of sucks because that means Violet is low on AP and didn't pop her bells. And she's very close to um, Cloud. Uh, this is because of Charlotte's hate is attracting them in a weird order. And Charlotte herself, she got regen up. Now she's going to have um, some more agility. Uh, but she put herself in range of Farika. Farika is going to go pop her limit break. Which should blind um, Charlotte. Which is great for me because that means I don't have to worry about her doing attacks. And if she does any attacks on Violet, Violet is going to counter right off the bat. Now Violet is going to do a normal attack here, which I figured. At least she gets her CT up a bit. So she's going to have uh, another turn soon. And this mod has... Um, stone mastery on so he's gonna be busy be busy throwing rocks and then that does chain with clouds sharpshoot which is a good play i agree with that <laughs> it 
It kind of sucks though, because now Violet's down. Now it's up to Farika and Mott to do all the work. All right, Farika pops her Drain Fury, uh, which is gonna do a, be a two hit. Mott here should do. Uh, nope, never mind. He goes after a lot of Mott because <laughs> he he wants to be the true Mott of of this of this uh, map. All right, um, Charlotte's going after my Mott, which is great. Uh, Cloud here should also go off the map. I think he's trying. His move is kind of low, which makes me wonder if he's wearing um, the producer's bow tie. Maybe not. I'm not too sure. I might be overthinking that. Uh, this mod is throwing rocks everywhere, which is causing my movement to go down. But that's fine because now Mott uses uh, Taunting Blade and Cloud's definitely going to go off the Mott. But might do a triple slash. Let's see. Yeah, see? Because they're stuck together. Uh, good thing they survive. Uh, Farika, unfortunately, doesn't have much AP to go by. Uh, because, again, she's not the main attacker Violet was. So when Violet went down, that was it. Here comes Mott with another th uh, stone throw. He's showing me why stone throw is good. Uh, of course, I don't run missile on this team. That's why. If I had missile on this team, I wouldn't have hesitated to turn it on. All right, that mod finally goes down. Now Frederica here is gonna deal with a reflex. Oh my God, why does Cloud reflex at the right time? Always happens, always, 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 always happens. Uh, all right, at least he went after Mont giving Frederica another shot, but uh, Frederica's out of AP. All right, is she gonna get another turn? She gets another turn. Drain Fury and KO. Oh, all right. <laughs> oh my God, reflex. Why? Why? Okay. Do I get? Do I go to? I go to masters. I could have sworn I had promotion battle. This is weird. I mean, maybe class matches work differently than quick pick. I don't recall. I think in quick pick, uh, uh, the promotion battles carry over. Uh, so I have to get, I have to win to get more promotion battle, to, to get a chance of promotion battle again. But I guess I had to start the promotion battle for it to carry over. Cause I didn't start the promotion battle. It just said that I was, um, getting there. All right. So we have a Phoebe in the last episode, I was calling her Phoebe and, uh, one of the commenters, uh, correct me on that. Thank you for that. I am horrible, horrible, horrible when it comes to names. Um, so thank you for the correction. Her name's Phoebe. And I'm going to try to keep calling her Phoebe. If I call her Phoebe uh, during this, it's just out of habit. I don't know why I read her name as Phoebe. But it is indeed Phoebe. Alright, so they're running a uh, dual evasion with Violet and Elena. And then I guess uh, Phoebe is going to be there to provide Haze, Agility up, stuff like that. And it looks like they set, set up their formation, formation correctly so that Phoebe can do her stuff. Alright, so Mott here provided the Keen Blade, so now we have Veil of Midnight. Okay, great. Alright, so I don't know how the, pro uh, the prioritization goes then. And I could have been wrong. Maybe I just looked at looked at it wrong and she did do veil of of whatever it's called and you realize it but uh either she does that or defense whether she does that or defensive footwork it's it's still a plus because it's it's gonna pre it's preventing them from going after her all right so now the, uh team buffs team agility buffs have been provided which means i'm gonna miss more often they're more evasive Elena's probably oh she's not gonna she's gonna cast an un, uh, unevative uh, unavoidable pain something like that. Uh, so this one's a cleric, but I found out when units are chanting, they can get hit. So because she was chanting here, she was not able to dodge th that attack. Unavoidable pain. There you go. And. 
they're a hundred percent hit when you're chanting. So it's a double edged sword to put that onto Elena, because then yeah, you could face other evasion units with it, but you're sacrificing your own evasion to get it done. All right, so enemy Violet's using her vulnerability. My Violet dodges, and um, her she dodged my Violet's counter attack. All right, so now we got evasion versus evasion. It's just gonna come down to who can hit who first. <laughs> and so far, everyone's dodging. It's a dodge party going on right now. Uh, but it's it's not gonna last so long. It's it's only gonna last for so long. All right, so we got. Uh, this displacer which knocks out that violet for a KO and now we just got to get rid of this um, uh, Elena Unfortunately Frederick goes out of AP and not in range and violet goes down. So now it's just up to Farika. Can she do it? Uh, courage. I'm always forgetting about that uh, And then boom KO because that was the last one <laughs> Uh, if if I was able to uh, live that, then it would have been fine. But oh well. I mean, it's a, like I said, it's a double-edged sword using that move. But it paid off in the end for my opponent. So good job on that. I am not salty at that um, matchup. I'm a little bit salty. <laughs> uh, but oh man, courage. I, the, the, that's, the, that's the one downside of this team. I have no way to remove courage, unfortunately. But that's okay. Uh, it, 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 it is what it is. It can't be the most perfect team ever. <laughs> All right, now we're facing an all Earth team, I'm assuming. Maybe not. Maybe it's a, not a rainbow team. So far, I'm not running into many asterisks as I thought I would. I only ran into that one team. All right, Earth team, like I suspected. Knock this, knock this Oberon. It's another awesome duel. Of course, I haven't seen them much lately. Um, which I don't know why they're still good. Uh, especially since Lightning's on the rise. Uh, I I should be seeing more Earth, which I am. I can't, I'm seeing. I'm seeing a fair amount of Earth and Lightning. Or at least I'm seeing a fair amount of Lightning, so that's good. Maybe because that's why there's not many Astros because they're afraid of of all the Lightnings that are going to be played, Lightning elements that are going to be played. Um, but all right, so they both have AP restoration moves up, while their Mot uh proc courage. My Farika got her hate down and her AP up. Their Noctis is gonna move in, and let's see what he does. All right, he powers he powers up his defenses and uh, offensive attacks even more. But he uh, oh, I thought he moved in for Vorpal Blade. He did not. So Mont's gonna eat all that Vorpal Blade right there. Uh, this Obra might have accuracy on him. Like it's uh, whenever I face Oberons. Uh, dodging Oberon haven't been easy. I think Oberon also has a guaranteed hit. I'm not too sure. So now, uh, Mott, uh, moves in for a nice, clean Taunting Blade. And Farika's gonna blind Mont. I don't think it's gonna KO Mont though, because this Mont is very good. Very defensive, which is good. Alright, but can Violet move in to do a Nova Vo Vocal Blade? Will she have enough a uh, AP for that? Oh, uh, she just goes after the Mont. Oh well. All right. So Mott's gonna do what? All right. He's just gonna use Sentinel, which is fine, but he's gonna die next turn. Uh, he doesn't have Stone Throw on. <sighs> That's another thing. Mm. Not just hits hard. <laughs> like he's he, so despite despite what people say, I feel like he hits hard. Cause every time I face knock this, he's always uh, knocking out my units. All right, so we got um, the mot KO, but now we got to deal with knock this and Oberon. Accuracy down. Will I dodge though? No. Unless knock this has a, also has a guarantee hit. I'm not. I don't. Even, I don't own a knock this, so I'm not familiar with his kit. But that's another loss. That one, uh, man. <laughs> 
That one kind of sucks. Is the is the fire dying down? I hope not. <laughs> so far, I only got one win today. It's like, ah, oh, no, why, why, why? I mean, well, at least one loss was was fine. All right, can we at least end the night with another win? Let's find out. Uh, all right. Well, speak of the devil, looks like I might be facing another asterisk, or maybe not. Maybe this is someone that's using a rainbow team. And Celis is just there to absorb magic. No, it's not Asterisk. <laughs> speak, you, you speak of the person's name and the person shall appear. I think that's how the rule goes. <laughs> oh man, I guess next time I should speak of... Of some weak uh, SR units that no one uses. And that person should appear and it will give me an easy way. I, I, I should do that next time. All right, so we got we're gonna get our buffs um, going here. Uh, they're they're positioned very close to us, so their mod is gonna proc the courage. My mod is gonna still do his keen blade, which is great. Uh, that's what I want. And Frederica here is gonna um, pop the hate down and AP restoration. Uh, their asterisk is sitting ni uh, nicely in the back. Uh, which I don't like. Oh, their their Celeste has jamming thrust on. I don't know how I feel about that, but if she pro I didn't pay attention. If she was proccing her her uh, buffery, then it's fine. All right, Mod's gonna do draining blade instead. But Frederica here is gonna pop her limb break. That's a bulky Celeste, so this probably is not gonna kill her. But at least it blinds her, which is fine with me. All right, what does their mod have? Stone Thrawn. Oh man, it's it's a good move. It's just very annoying. <laughs> uh, okay, so now mod goes down again, which is fine. The Cella should not be able to hit anyone, so she's gonna pop her unit resistant up. Uh, so now uh, Violet has her AP uh, restoration up. Vorpal Blade hits both, but doesn't knock out Celis because Celis is just really really bulky right now and now we got another aoe move that's going to knock out celis and do major damage to asterisk but will he be able to hit my units yes and he kills oh my god Frederica! ouch ouch poor girl <laughs> all right so we got another vorpal blade here and it's not going to knock out um asterisk sally oh man and then the mods just throwing stones at me. Ah, KO. I think Asterisk also has a guarantee move. I didn't pull him. Oh man, the the the, the 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 fire is starting to die down a bit. But oh well, okay. I'm not too upset about those matches. Uh, what can change? Honestly, I don't know what can change. Uh, I mean, as I climb up, people are going to have accuracy uh, buffs on their units so they can hit evasion up. So it's just going to get harder to use evasion. Uh, and I got to prepare for that. Uh, maybe the only change I might make is turning off Keenblade. Leaving Mott with the, the armor still, but just turning Keenblade off so he could pop courage and that guarantees bot is gonna live at least for one more turn and he could continue tanking uh but i have to decide if i want to do that or not and i think that will be the only change i will make i do like how Farika can get more ct and slash up because it it, it helps with the turn order um but if we're gonna start entering uh, in an area where a lot, a lot of players have accuracy, up uh, accuracy stuff going, then I gotta, I gotta see what I gotta see what I want to do about that. But anyway, all right. So enough rambling. Today kind of sucked, but it's okay. We started off great. I'm still happy about that. And the team, the team, in my opinion, is still awesome. Let's see how tomorrow goes. 
Uh, I hope you enjoyed today's video. See you guys next time. Laters.